This is the time of year we think about time together and gifts. One of Georgia's first COVID patients says he'll never see either the same way. There's just one thing he wanted to do to celebrate this holiday, and we were there. Bittersweet. It's a place that changed everything. It does bring back memories. Where time took on new meaning and gifts were redefined. First trip back into the actual hospital. Chris Barron went to the ER March 18th, 2020, one of Georgia's first COVID patients. It was very early on in the pandemic and we were still learning about the virus. There was a very real possibility he'd never leave. It was very up in the air. Two months at Piedmont Fayette, many more in rehab. Chris will never take a step or a breath for granted. Thank you, Kate. It's why he and his husband, Ben, wanted to visit the ICU where he stayed for so long. 217, Chris, you were at the very end of the hallway. And so many have since. He has a gift for us. I am one of the success stories. I just wanted to, to say personally, thank you for all you did for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just thank you. I'm seeing Success stories is definitely encouraging. This is something he's wanted to do for a long time. <laughs> to finally meet the entire team that cared for him saved his life. A celebration, a thank you for a second chance. Give thanks to the team here. Thank you for the time and effort you poured into me to keep me alive. I was scared and I'm sure you were as well. Suffering from pneumonia, kidney failure, sepsis, fever, and lung damage. Even when things looked grim for me and I was not expected to survive, you all kept my spirits up and gave me the will to fight. A reminder that selfless work continues day in and day out and a little gratitude goes a long way. That's why you see some of those tears. They remember those hard times and then they get to see the fruits of their effort. There's just so many people that it takes to to turn one person around. It lets us know that miracles still happen. Life, joy, <laughs> and health. There really is no greater gift any time of year. Chris says when he looks back on his COVID battle, he thinks about being sick at a time where there were no treatments, no vaccines, and he hopes people will consider his story and get protected so they don't go through what he did.